Hello everyone, Mikey Dare Panginator here, Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Turkey and Great Britain. Well, I guess Free France is pushing out of Djibouti. So that's kind of good. Eritrea. This is some, yeah, French Somaliland, Djibouti. So here's what we're doing. We. Looks like the, the British are trying to naval invade. Japan declared war on the Philippines. Okay, that's good. America, that means America's at war with Japan. Right? Yes. America. So we'll see how long it takes America to get involved in the European war. Relocate from the Yadiz Palace. So yes, that's right. We are focusing on the military stuff. Submarines. Or surface ships. Submarines. Submarines are really good. What's this? Select like the wolf. Always be on the prowl. Stay low. It's da da da. Submarines. Okay. Or. I like service. I like service fleets way too much to do that. Alright, what's our political action we can do? Um, ooh, uh, fleet coordination. We'll do that. That's a good thing to do. So, hopefully, we can maintain our garrisons and be able to do this before too long. I know some people are mad I had martial law for a little bit. The issue isn't the martial law. The issue, the issue is we couldn't enforce any garrison no matter what type we uh, made. So that is changing. Compliance is building and uh, resistance is decreasing. So change, you know, deleting some of our troops to send some, uh, you know, stuff back to that is is good it's really good all right and research yep getting better rubber will help and so yeah what we're doing is like i really want to be able to help out in i don't know if we'll be able to go through vichy france or anything but you know help them out form the national committee can y'all like y'all have like a syrian thing oh this is a small focus tree interesting so we can get some of our designers, which is is okay. If we can get some of that other stuff, what what decisions? Counter the rebel. Oh yeah, I don't want to counter the rebels. Do I? Twenty three percent chance. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna let it tick down gently. The fall of Manila. Uh oh, Manila, capital of the Philippines, has fallen to the Japanese after they directly naval landed. After the withdrawal of its American and Filipino defenders. The interest of the strategically vital Manila Bay remains contested for some time after the city's fall due to the heavy concentration of American coastal artillery on Corregidor Island. But the guns eventually fell silent after a concerted Japanese attack. With Manila under Japanese control, the rest of the Philippines are expected to follow shortly after. Stinging defeat for American forces in Asia and the Pacific. Yeah, this is not good for America. <laughs> it's not good for anyone. I mean, what's good for America is good for the rest of the world in game and in real life so come on great britain put up a fight F push them back boys and girls push them back okay i'm going to actually boost our support equipment so we can redo our division designs before we again before we get into this war yeah we need like actual division designs so that's good Let's get more rubber. German Reich declared war on the Soviet Union. Communist China is capitulated. Okay, goodbye, Mao. Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. We will see how this goes. So, we don't have forts on. Okay, I know we have fuel refining. Let's get that. We don't have forts in Gallipoli, but the other provinces we do. I don't want I don't want you, I want the province. How do I click on the province and not the soldiers? This is weird. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's not worry about it too much. Let's uh Again, we're not we could change okay. If we changed our division designs to a seven, to, we don't have army experience. Oh, 
Okay, so now Japan's gonna be involved in the European War. The United States has joined the United Kingdom. Okay, so you are part of the Allies. Okay. Now we can expect things to start going well in the war. Now that America's here, America to the rescue. And eventually we'll have Turkey to the rescue. The legacy of the Osmanli Dabadabada. -da -da -da. Fortified defensive base. Okay. We'll do that. What's populism do? Book of power, manpower, and war support. We'll do that. It looked like the Soviet Union was pushing forward for a little bit. No, the Germans are pushing forward. Pushing the Soviets. But they're holding Bessarabia, which is good. Like, is this a problem in other areas? Like, can I click on this province? No. Since when? Since when do you, like, click on the soldiers not, like... This is so weird. I've never seen this before. Okay. Well, that's bizarre, but it is what it is. Come on. So, like, Free France is, like, not at war with Vichy France? What? You're at war with the Axis, but, like... Hmm. This is weird. Philippines has capitulated. Yeah. Not good. But, hey, they still have uh, Cebu. Yeah, this, like, little inner archipelago is not connected via strait to the others. Neither is Palawan, but you can't expect the Americans to um, support that too long. They could go from Guam to like Saipan and Tinian. Wake is still there. Midway is still there. Marcus Island. Yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen over there. All right. Let's look at our occupied states. Yeah, look at this. The resistance is disappearing. This is beautiful. We actually have enough to garrison. It's nice. Okay. We have a tank. How much manpower does a division take up? 9,000. We can train one. Wait, we can train mountaineers? Ooh. 6,000. Let's train a Mountaineer. Very slowly. And deploy him to Anchor. Let's try that. Although I do want to change the Mountaineer design. We only really have three Mountaineers. We have a lot of mountains in Turkey, so that'll be interesting to see. Oh yeah, the British are pushing the Italians back, it seems. And just hopefully... Hopefully the Suez doesn't get blown up. <laughs> That's my main concern. Because if we have to go like... Like, no, that would just be annoying. Wow. Okay, I guess they took the port and the whole thing just collapsed. So, we'll see what Italy can do with the rest of the war. Alright. What do we need here? Compliance over 70. Resistance below 30. Resistance is not below 30, and compliance is not above, um, above 70. So that's actually going to take a while before we can get to that. What about, like, advisors? Industry, industrialist, political power gain, stability, democracy, support, advisor cost. Resources, democracy, factory construction speed. I like this guy. 0.07 political power. He'll pay for himself eventually. And while we're here, motorization, Mediterranean fleet, that tank. We'll do it. We need to get some motorization so we can get field hospitals and the like. We're showing rubber and steel. What is this? What is the sea line? Fortified defensive bases, okay. And now our little thing in the jigger here. What is this? Okay, there we go with that. And uh, the Greeks 
The Italians are attacking the Greek islands, and they're taking them, so we are going to want to deal with that. But first things first. I don't think this is going to be an issue anymore. Our one tank can, uh... What can our tank do? Be on garrison in Ankara, and we'll just, you know, deploy you wherever we want. Okay. Let's, um, get... I want another one, two, three, four divisions over here. On this border. I want half of you on this side of the Greeks. I want the other half of you on this side. Because I don't... The Greeks aren't going to hold, I don't think. And we want to deal with that. Okay. So, do we have any bonuses? Ooh, cruisers and submarine. Cruisers and heavy ships. Yes, the Turkish battleships, clearly. I mean, that would be... That's 27 days. That takes, like, no time at all. Can we do both cruisers and the battleships? Construction? Okay. We can. Excellent. All right, so we'll do that. Invest in stuff and things. We'll do that. Our industry is important. Cigarette factory. Civilian factory. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. That is fine. And every now and then we'll check on this. Okay, so I think the resistance is good. We just need the compliance to grow a little faster. That'd be good. United Mexican States join the Allies. Thank you, Mexico. We should play Mexico at some point. <laughs> that would be fun. Although, you know, joining the Allies and all that. This, you know, I like to mix it up. Sometimes we'll join the Allies. Sometimes we'll join the Axis. Sometimes we'll be historical. Sometimes we'll just do crazy garbage. So, there we go. That's good. Okay. So, Italy has been cleared up from here. Free France has a larger operating base. The Free France French Navy. Um, has he done... He hasn't done Syria yet. If he did Syria, then yeah. He, he, he doesn't want to do Syria because then he'd be cut off. If we were part of the war and he did Syria, though, that would be good. Right, so, we got our uh, battleship design. Good job. So get tactical bombers. Let's get this um dive bombing, I guess. We do have motorization. Socialist Republic of Bulgaria. What? What? What is this? Well, um, it's nice knowing you, bud. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be around for very long. No. I'll just stop. Hungary demands Vodovidania. What? Uh, is that this place? Oh, so Yugoslavia is going to die. <laughs> Yugoslavia is uh, probably toast here in a little bit. It happens. Okay, is the United, United Kingdom got cut off here? They have Benghazi. Uh, the African War, as, as interesting as it was historically. How's the Pacific War? Far from shore, Pacific War. Ooh. Australia, you got, a, you got a problem there. The Indies are holding out, though. Hmm. My, my main concern with this is the Allies just generally struggle at naval invasions and the like. So I don't know what, what's going to happen here. Alright, 1941. Okay, we should get the resources. Get our industry all up to stuff. Snuff, stuff, whatever. What are we constructing? Oh, the synthetic plants. Hey, there we go. We um, have our armed force stuff. Mountaine mountaineers and engineers. Yeah, let's do that. What's this? Populism. No, I don't want populism. What's this? Pro no. No. Interesting. So we don't have our, like... Well, I guess we've completely reformed our military, so that's good. 
Populism and reform. Okay, this is manpower, mobilization speed, political power gain. What is this one? Political power and democracy support. How is our occupation? They're down below 30. Okay, we want that compliance gain. We need more compliance. Alright, what we'll do is we'll get that infantry tank. There we go. It's a good thing to do. Yeah, no decisions can be taken. Don't don't lie to me. Let's unclick these for now. Yeah, okay, so uh Bulgaria just flat out just died. Can we um tell you to, you know. This is a front line. This is no longer just a uh, defensive well, I mean this is a defensive perimeter. I kinda wanna just build up max forts in Istanbul. Slash Constantinople. Hold out there. I mean, we could. I think we need to um get all of these up to four. Get all these up to the same level. All right, so you are gonna be in a new group, and you're just gonna exercise. What's this? From Glen to Glen. What could go possibly? Or what could go pop? Is this like a counterattack? Are the Greeks counterattacking? Oh no! What are you doing? You had them on the run, and now you're like, Burp. idiots. Speaking of idiots, the Soviets are holding out better than I thought they would. They're doing all right. We'll see. But Bulgaria, Socialist Republic of Bulgaria. Okay, so it's a similar flag. The problem is we're gonna have a socialist uh, country on our other side. Let's change your like color. It's like I don't know, yellow. Yeah, it was all yellow. So uh, you can, you know, guard Ankara. And we'll put you in the yellow dude. Hungry proclaims the glade oak a bit full of themselves. They are full of themselves, indeed. 1941. Do we want better special forces or more special? We want better special forces. That's what we want with our mountaineers. We want them to be better. Okay. So, the Soviets are in the war, Bulgarian Civil War, and then, again, the African War is tricky as always. Okay, so Japan is taking over New Guinea. This is not great. And China looks like it's on the ropes. Our wars. Oh yeah, China's on the ropes. Oh no. The fall of Hong Kong? Well, that, that was to be expected. What is this? Uh, our Mediterranean fleet range, but speed. What is this? Coastal defense fleet. Max range. Our production cost. Ooh, I like the lower production cost. We might hold out on that. But, that is all of the time. Siam joined the Greater East Asian co-prosperity nonsensification. And it appears that, it, that that is all the time we're going to have for this episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification... Ooh, let's go. Hit that notification bell and join us all on the Discord server link down below. Special thanks in this episode of my patron James, and thanks to all of you for watching. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, this is Mikey Darepanginator, signing out. See ya, nerds!